Ford Motor Company recalls 39,000 expeditions and Lincoln Navigators after engine fire reports. I guess you could say that Ford is firing on more than all cylinders. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth to help give you some straight talk and some insight into what the heck is going on over at Ford. Yeah. Recalling 39,000 expeditions and Lincoln Navigators couldn't be worse news right now for Ford. They've had plenty of problems delivering vehicles in the first place. Now this... Ford advises the SUV owners to park their vehicles outdoors and away from structures until a fix is completed. Like, don't burn down your garage or your house this way. In 2022, Ford has issued 30 U.S. recalls covering 3.5 million vehicles, the most of any automaker. Nothing like getting into the news. Yeah, but the wrong way. Ford Motor Company said Thursday it was recalling 39,000 SUVs after reports of 16 fires and has advised owners to park their vehicles outdoors and away from those structures until the fix is completed. The recall, which covers some 2021 model year Ford Expedition and Lincoln Navigator vehicles, was prompted as an engine compartment fire could occur while the car is parked or being driven, even with the ignition off, the number two U.S. automaker said. Number two, it's like a little bit of irony, isn't it? <laughs> Seems like shipping a ton of crappy expeditions and navigators matches the number two description. Yeah, especially after all the Bronco troubles. Reportedly, there was one injury, but no accidents related to the fires, and 14 of the 16 affected vehicles were owned by rental car companies. Quite the way to spice up a vacation or a business trip, huh, Kev? Yeah. Honey, I barbecued my luggage uh, <laughs> in the expedition I was driving. A remedy was still under development and Ford was working to establish the cause. It's been a rough year for Ford so far, but hey, if you want to be famous... Or infamous. To make matters worse, Ford this week also issued two other recalls, including 310,000 2016 Super Duty F-250s, F-350s, F-450s, and F-550 trucks because dust may accumulate in the steering wheel clock spring causing an electrical disconnection, resulting in driver airbags not deploying as intended. Owners will have their vehicle's steering wheel clock springs replaced. Well, that's simple. Ford has no reports of injuries. Ford is also updating the software in 464 2021 Mustang Mach-E vehicles. I wonder how they figured out 464. Yep. Anyway, with all-wheel drive because a powertrain control module may fail to detect a software error, resulting in unintended acceleration. If you'd like to say thanks for our video today with a tip, the links showing up here will be easy to find down below. And if you enjoyed this video today, we'd appreciate you giving us a big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment on our videos and share it with family and friends. And I hope to goodness you're not one of the expedition uh, or navigator owners. Yeah. And if you're not already on board with us, please subscribe. Also, if you go out and get yourself a good car deal and are treated fairly and respectfully by a car dealer, please remember to come back and share your story on our channel so others know who the good guys are. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we strive to do in every video we produce. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.